They claim 63 today. West about 15. We're headed to the land of Nada. Mumbles man is driving. My buddy, uh, fishing friend Fred from California has been deer hunting the last two weeks in uh, lively Virginia, about 90 miles north of here. Well, he's in town. He's getting in town. Well, he's, he's, he's arriving today around, I'd say about an hour from now. He wants to go for a spin with us. So I got the uh, Excalibur charging up. She'll be ready in a few minutes. We have another buddy in town from Mount Airy, North Carolina. He's going to meet us down there somewhere. And then we're all going to go to dinner somewhere tonight. Except for the Mumbles man. He's got grandkid duty. He said he won't be able to make it. we have to see how that goes. But stand by. We're going to the land of Nada here shortly. Check for that ring. Look at for a ring. Shit for a ring. Oh, God, it's yours. Friend that Fred from California has been hunting in Virginia for a week, two weeks. How long you been here? Two weeks. Two weeks. That's what I thought. Two here. All right, let's get going. Look, I got you this pouch. Ah. Gold digger pouch. Very good. Let's go first. Yeah. We're going in at 15th. No, we're way offshore. Just give us a little bit of wind. Oh, there's some surfers out here. Oh yeah, good wave day today. Looks like. The Momo's man. Fred's got my Excalibur and my 9 inch 920i stealth scoop. And the Momo's man, look, he's already on a target. The Momo's man. Fishing swivel. Fishing swivel. I'll be damned. Yeah, low tide's not for like uh, three hours, so we got plenty of time. And I think that's the other guy right there we're supposed to meet, Paul Carter. He's from Mount Airy, North Carolina. He probably hadn't seen us yet. I'm pretty sure that's him. I can't tell from this distance, but I think it's him. Stand by. It's good to be out today. It's a nice day for a spin. Five set. I'm almost man. I ain't even swung, a, swung my coil yet. I'm getting ready to go right now. Here we go. The land of Nada. The other guy's seen us now. He's coming, he's coming on this side of the pier. Stand by. Oh, it's a little chilly on my little old feet. Mmm. Come up here, baby. <laughs> I like it. Fred's kicked off his shoes. He's barefooted. That looks like somebody protecting feet right there. Somebody's been going up and down right here. Maybe it was him. What's happening there, Mr. Paul? Well, I tried to get about a 15 minute head start on you. I see somebody's been going up and down here. I wonder who that was. <laughs> <laughs> How you making out, all right? Okay, I didn't find a single thing, but... Uh, Mama man found a nickel in a swivel so I far. I a quarter, too. Oh, a quarter. Found 26 cents. 26 cents. That's a uh, righteous buck right there. Well, we're gonna go down here at the boat that where that playground is. Third, we go, third then we're gonna go back this way. Gotcha. We usually do really good there between 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yeah, I've never been down that way. I've always hunted yeah. that way just because there's more beach, I guess. But yeah, well, uh, there's always been more people right there where that crane is. Yeah. That's the most outside parking that's available at the beach in the summertime. Yeah. So that's the heaviest area. Did y'all park up at the pier? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we parked. Up. Yeah, we're parked right across the right next to the Ferris wheel. 
Well, I, I pulled up there to pay to park there at the uh, pier. There's nobody in there. Everybody else was parking, so I did too. Oh. The street's free. Oh, there's, no there's a few surfers out today. They've been in big waves for them, though, but they're out. They're like us. They come out all the time. tight today. Not many targets for any of us. Stand by. Piece of brass. I did, I did get a blingy chain. I got a, a piece metal, little piece thing. That's what I just. Yeah, I up. dug. I got a piece of that bullet casing. Yeah, hey, that isn't bling. Yeah, it's just bling though. It's copper. Yeah. It's all tied up in knots. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's tight, all right. Not correct. Get rid of these pants. Huh? Get rid of these pants. Okay. We're going to be going that way. I'll catch up with you. All right. I see another looter coming this way. I can't tell who it is. Scoop's way up high. Looks kind of like Larry, but I mean uh, Stanley, but I don't think so. Stand by. We'll find out. I think it might be Dick. I see a red pouch now. I think Dick's got a red pouch. Stand by. I had it right. Mr. Dick. You see how Mr. Dick is making out today. He found all the gold. <laughs> First time I've been in three weeks. I know, I've been Denny uh, found a nice ring here day before yesterday. You're making out, buddy. I got a, uh, a ring and I got a piece of piercing. Yeah. Somebody with a <laughs> nose piercing. Uh, I got you. And your buddy down there got some gold coin in a bezel. Who, Denny? Yeah. He can Got find them, buddy. So gold coin in a bezel. <laughs> what kind of ring you got? Costume jewelry. Yeah, junk Love blink that. ring. Uh, better, better go look at this gold coin. I know. Mumbles, man, got a gold coin in a bezel. Like somebody wears around her neck, you know? Ha! He's hot. <laughs> Still, I should say. I heard about it. <laughs> I figured you did. I thought it was junk. Because the chain's all green, but it, it might be too. Thing. Gary's, uh, Gary's the only other person I know found a gold coin in a bezel in Ocean View. Two dollar and a half gold piece. There it is. There's a... It's a Dos Pesos from Mexico. Oh, yeah. That's the real thing. That's the real thing. You, you're right about that. Yeah, I think the chain may be gold too. It may be ten. Yeah, I think it's just waste. dirty. I think this is gone though. You won't see this long, except for <laughs> something around somebody's neck. You you find her some nice stuff though. I tell you that, buddy. Man, I can't get over you. <laughs> Stop watching Max's damn videos just because you. Make I told you to give you the damn mumbles. What do you think I needed the mumbles man you for? Know, I tell you what, I went to an auction one time. And my wife had a fit over this uh, little plastic. That's Fred, friend's Fred. Got a little ring here, a little mood ring. Virginia Beach. Yeah. That's part of a little necklace look like right there. And a little bead come off one of them little things that goes on your arm. Yeah. 
and then this phasers or something. Yeah. Looks like a like a nose piercing. Yeah, hangs thing. in your nose. Hangs in your nose. Yeah. Bullet cases. Bullet. Yeah, we I got, got we got several of them. All right. That is all the finds. Shit. What if you call? Oh, you got a ring, huh? A Moody. Moody. Yeah, yeah, Moody, Moody, Moody ring. ring. And then you saw that little uh, nose piercing thing and. And there's a little bead in here that I I don't think is gold. I don't know it. It's yeah. Brand. Another chain. Yeah. You got another chain? Yeah. <laughs> this has got two. Uh, you know, fishing fishing thing. Tag, it's got two like infinity. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something on it. Nice little chain, though, ain't it? You got another chain. I've changed his name with Change Man again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long damn chain, yeah, too. Yeah. Jesus, the must have. Yeah, it's an infinity a thing, or so pair of eyeglasses. Yeah, that's that sure does peso. Re, uh, you say it's a what now? What kind of coin? Dos peso for Mexico. You can dos see it. Dos pesos, huh? Dos pesos. Two pesos for Mexico. And the bezel's probably gold, too. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the bezel's gold. Is they it solid put... gold, that yeah. coin? Yeah, yeah solid, solid gold. gold. Coin. 24 karat gold. Bucket list check off. Yeah, bucket yeah. list check I've been over 20 years trying to find one of them. I ain't found one yet. 1945, it's stated. 1945? 1945. Yeah. Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Damn. Those pesos. That's neat. That's. Uh, Roundup time at the Rancho Max, which we haven't done in a while. I've got three dimes, a nickel, a pennies, crap, fishing lure, and this hole I found these two together. One, of course, is a bottle cap. The other one is a magnet. <laughs> okay. And friend, our friend Fred. Was using my Excalibur, he got a few pennies, one dime. Uh, he got the mood ring. He got the only ring of the day. Virginia Beach mood ring, some aluminum, a few pull tabs, and this nose piece. That's what we think it is, anyway. You know, I don't know what it is, but that's what it could have been. A, could have been an earring. That could be a piece of it right there broke off. More than likely, earring. Now that I look at it. And he had two of these, I don't know where the other one is. Pieces of light bead. Not gold, just filler for take up space on a wrist thing. I got some more pictures from the mumbles man on his coin. He cleaned it up. And uh turned out really nice could be, you know, cleaned up nice. Nice bezel. The chain uh the chain says is a stamped 18k P. No, 18K GP, gold plated. The chain, you know, was in bad shape. Looked like copper and all, that's what it was. It, what, what, what gold was on it, it washed off. But that's a nice ticket, that two peso gold coin. I had one of my checklist, bucket, bucket list for over 20 years. This is a knockoff of a, I forget what kind of plug it was, what we used to use back in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Not a Merlure, what the hell is the name of that? Seahawk. Nice little bait though, for speckle trout. Okay, that's it. I'll have some pictures at the end for you.